Hello 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 everyone. Today we are going to look at the differences between RMS watts and peak watts or PMPO. Many times, when we go to the stores to buy any type of loudspeaker to evaluate its power we look at the watts it has and we act on that. You may have noticed that many times the watts are indicated in watts, RMS watts or, in some cases, PMPO watts. But what does each one mean? What are the real watts and what is the difference between each one? Well today we are going to try to help you a little bit with this. Watts are the measure of power of a loudspeaker. But we have to be careful when buying and we have to look for the manufacturer to specify if the watts are RMS or peak. We should also be wary of manufacturers who indicate watts in plain terms, since, for example, saying that a loudspeaker has 100 watts is like saying that something measures 1. If it is not specified whether this unit of measurement is centimeters, meters or millimeters, the measurement is useless. Peak watts or also known as PMPO, peak music power output, are those that establish the maximum peak power. The maximum peak power that a loudspeaker will admit without breaking down. This measurement is not very useful, since the loudspeaker does not support this power continuously and, sometimes, sellers use it as a selling point because it is much higher than the average or RMS value. For example, if a loudspeaker has 100 watts, but reaches peak power of 300, the manufacturer will say that the loudspeaker has 300 watts PMPO, but it is falsifying it, making us believe visually that these are its real watts. The average watts or also known as RMS, root medium square, is the power that a loudspeaker can withstand continuously without breaking down. RMS stands for root mean square and is the most reliable measure of power that we should always ask about when buying a loudspeaker. That is, although a loudspeaker may have power peaks where it reaches, for example, 400 watts, this measurement will give us the average power at which the loudspeaker will work continuously, so we can say that it is the real measure. In this picture we can see graphically the difference between both, where we can see the blue wave indicating the power peaks and the space between the dashed green and red line showing the reality, the average and continuous power. There is a rule that although it is not strictly true, it is usually taken as valid to compare some some watts with others and it says that the RMS watts are the fourth part of the peak watts. In other words, the RMS watts can be obtained by dividing the peak watts by 4. In this way, if the manufacturer tells us the peak watts, we can have an approximation of the actual watts. For example, it would be equivalent to say that a loudspeaker has 1200 watts peak or 300 watts RMS. That is why it is so important to specify what kind of watts we are talking about and look for the real watts ourselves. For the brands, it sells a lot more to say that a speaker has 1200 watts and then have to look in the fine print that it is peak watts, than to say that it has 300 watts RMS. So you know, when you want to know correctly the power of a speaker, Pay attention to the type of watts that the manufacturer details to be taken for a ride. Well guys until here comes the video as always I hope to have helped you and that you have been useful if so do not forget as always leave me a good like that is super important as well as subscribe to the channel and give the little bell to not miss anything I for my part nothing more as always a pleasure and until the next video.